How's it going, guys? I'm very happy to bring you finally my first Skyrim Let's Play. People have been asking for so long, and I'm sorry it took this long, but I figured we'd start out strong and go with the Dawn Guard. So this is the entire Dawn Guard quest line with my max level 252 God Build Sithis Vampire side. Let's jump right in, and we're gonna move relatively quickly. I had to make this video as short as possible, so. First things first, right up to the castle, Mang. Here we go, Fort Dawnguard discovered. Man, what a beautiful castle. It's a damn shame that this couldn't be like your personal home that you could customize. That would have been awesome. It's far nicer than the vampire castle in my opinion. What a sight to see. If you guys want to get any of the stuff that I show in this video, like this horse for example, the armor, you just have to follow my god video. And you can make the exact same character. No, I'm not here to join the Dawn Guard, I'm here to kill the Dawn Guard. You know why I'm here. The vigilants are under attack everywhere. The vampires are much more dangerous than we believed. And now you want to come running to safety with the Dawn Guard, is that it? Isra. You were right, we were wrong. I am. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry. They're all dead, no. and I'm gonna kill the rest so of them. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Sithis. There's really not much to join yet. I need someone I'm here to join the, the Dawn Guard, the you vampires. bald fuck. While we're getting the fort back into shape. Tolan, tell him about, what was it? Dim Hollow. Yes, that's it. Brother Adelwald was sure it held some long-lost vampire artifact of some kind. That's good enough for me. Go see what the vampires were looking All for. All right, guys. we're off to Dim Hollow Crypt. Right over here. And I don't know about you guys, but every single goddamn time I ever get here, I seem to come up this way. It is a good thing that Todd gave us spider horses. Thank you, Todd. I know you're disappointed Starfield didn't get Game of the Year, but Skyrim's always Game of the Year, bud. Am I right? Okay, here we are. Dim Hollow Crypt discovered. What could be in here? Villains never know when to give up. I thought we'd taught them enough of a lesson at their hall. To come in here alone. You know, I really gained a love for Unarmed creating this character. The One Punch Man. Ah! Snapped your neck. Let's go. Okay, just gotta open the front door. And make your way down. Surprise, motherfucker! Someone just sneaks up behind you, picks you up over their head, and smashes you down. That would really suck. Oh! Alright, moving along. Who's next? Who's my next victim? Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah. Elemental Fury, baby. No match. And this is on legendary. Fire. I oath to stand up. We may. What's up? Else. Surprise. Oh. How you doing? Serana's my girlfriend. And I missed you, baby. It's been a while. <laughs> All right. Hardest puzzle in the game. Move the vases around. What's up, baby? Looking straight ahead, I don't even look at her fall to her knees. Where is who sent you here? Guy named Isron. 
Who are you expecting? I was expecting someone like me, at least. Like you? What do you mean, white? Just because I'm a dark uh, elf, I'm not good enough? Can't you tell just from looking at me? That you're white? A vampire. Oh, a vampire. Gotcha. They're not fond of vampires, are they? Well, look. Kill me, you've killed one vampire. But if people are after me, there's something bigger going on. I can help you find out what that is. Sure. Let's My go. My family used to live on an island to the west of Solitude. I would guess they still do. By the way, my name is Serana. Oh, I know that. Don't you worry. Okay, now we're going to Serana's family home. Way up here. A little bit of a horse ride. And here we are. I gotta take this little boat. Or you could swim across, I suppose. We're here, we're here. Dare you trespass here? Wait, Serana? Is that truly you? I cannot believe my eyes. Hey, buddy, what's up? Ignore all the purple rimmed cups. I don't know what went wrong in my game, but. It is what it is. I can't believe it. Now tell me, who is this stranger you have brought into our hall? I saved this her. This is my savior, the one who freed me. I'm For my special. my safe return, you have my gratitude. Okay, what about my reward? By now, my daughter would have told you what we are. Group of pedophiles. Not just vampires. We are among the oldest and most powerful vampires in Skyrim. For centuries we lived here, far from the cares of the world. All that ended when my wife betrayed me and stole away that which I valued most. Okay, but what about my reward? I was about to suggest that very thing. Yes, you must certainly deserve a reward. There is but one gift I can give that is equal in value to the Elder Scroll and my daughter. I offer you my blood. Take it and you will walk as a lion among sheep. Men will tremble at your approach and you will never fear death again. And if I refuse? Then you will be prey, like all mortals. I will spare your life this once, but you will be banished from this hall. Perhaps you still need convincing. Yes, I do. Behold the power. This is the power that I offer. Now, make your choice. Okay, I guess Be so. Still. Bite me, Hakon. Bite me. Awake at last. Good. Harkon, I mean. <laughs> Hakon, no, we fucked that up. Within you. And now you must learn to wield it. I'm ready. Teach me about my powers. You will become a deadly instrument, striking terror into the hearts of mortals wherever you tread. Now listen to my words and do as I instruct. The true power of the ancient blood is found in the form of the Vampire Lord. Assume the mantle of the Vampire Lord. Use the power of the ancient blood to transform into a vampire. In this form, you can drain the life from your foes with your right hand. With your left hand, you can wield the power of blood magic to raise the dead. You can also call upon the powers of night to turn into a swarm of bats and reappear some distance away. Should you run out of magicka, you can descend to the ground and fight as the beasts do. Your claws are still formidable weapons. Over time, your powers will grow in strength and you will find new ways to use your gifts. Slaying mortal men with your life drain grants you new night powers and blood magic. I keep a stable of thralls in the castle, should you need to feed like the baser vampires to stave off the sun. That is all I have to teach you. 
If you wish to be reminded of these lessons, you need only ask. I have a task that will test your new powers. I'm ready. But What's the task? Go and speak to Garen Marethi. Okay. Tell him it is time. Where are you, Garen? Switch back. I wish when you switched back from a werewolf, you still had your clothes on. I saw more than I have a message Lord from Harkin. Remember your place. Now, what is our Lord's wish? He said it's time. Well, well. He wants the chalice then. You've heard of the Bloodstone Chalice? Never once. It is a rather well kept secret. The chalice has been in Lord Harkin's possession for quite some time now. It is, when used properly, able to increase the potency of our powers. He has neglected using it for ages. If he wants it filled now... Can you face me when you speak, or, or are you just going to read that book it's turned good. around? Follow me. I'll take you to it. Lord You're going to read the book as we walk? Care to use the chalice. Okay, here we go. Excuse us. I need to fetch the bloodstone chalice. The chalice? Why? What are you up to, Garan? Lord Harkin's orders, Ortheolf. Calm yourself. Our friend here has been ordered to fill the chalice. Really? Indeed. He's off to Redwater Den. Well then, best of luck to you. Vingalmo and Ortheolf are Harkin's primary advisors. I'm sure they're quite surprised to learn that you're taking the chalice. And here we are. Now, this chalice needs to be filled directly from the bloodspring that is the source of Redwater Den. But that's not enough. Once that's done, the blood of a powerful vampire needs to be added to it. Keep in mind that Redwater Den has fallen into... Well, let's just say less reputable members of society now dwell there. It's your choice whether to attempt to deal with them or force your way through. Oh, I think I'm going to force my back. way through. You don't Surprise want to keep well Lord Harkin waiting. Okay, now we just gotta go way over here to Redwater Den. If you know my channel, you know Redwater Den, all right. All right, what's up? Nice try, bitch. Come on down. You're mine. Ha ha ha! Who's next? I don't like drugs, so I'm gonna kill all of you drug addicts. Just kidding, I do like drugs, but I'm gonna kill you all anyways. Ah! Face my spiked knuckles. Anyone left? Oh, what do we have here? I don't like the Imperials. Well, I don't like you! Beat down! I'm gonna jam your head in that little shit pot. Alright. Making our way downtown. Time to end this little game. Yes, end the game that is your life. No match for Sithis, bitches. Alright, drop the bridge. Found our next victim, mining. Just one good crash to the back of the neck is all you need. Probably my favorite animation in the game is that triple punch to the face right there. Alright, that's enough fist fighting. Time to slice and dice. Torment and Molog Ball's mace. What's up, bitch? You're next. On the shit list.
So why don't you just drink the blood from the spring? I mean, that seems easier than running a skooma den. The boss said it's some sort of profaned spring. It looks like blood, but it's not the real thing. Daddy's home. Oh. Right, let's go. Unlock the doors. Mosey on down. La la la. Boom boom boom. Hello? Anybody home? What's that? Your blood will not protect you. Oh! Ha! And now. Locked down here all these thousands of years, only to be killed in one swing. Okay, don't try and sneak up on me. You will fail. Let's go. I'm going to put you back in that coffin. Ah! Well, that was funny. You want to throw fireballs at me? Taste you of your own medicine. Perfect. Perfect. All right. And here we're at the blood spring. Build a chalice. Get ambushed. It's really too bad, you know. The little accident you had here. Completely unexpected. Oh, just yeah, wait until you bad. see your accident, Lord lady. New Dead so soon. And be added to the family. spring. We're just lucky I was here. Shut up! Ah! ah! We'll throw you right in the spring. Shame about your little accident here. Okay, back to the castle. I see you have Talk to my homeboy. Lord Just two Dark Elves here, you know what I'm saying? You met Stolf and Salonia, I assume? Yes, Lord they tried to ambush me. They might follow you there. They tried to kill me! Well, of course they did. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Mm-hmm. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, and be careful who you trust. I don't trust now, any of you. I believe that Lord Barely Harkin even trust Serana. to speak with you. And I want okay, to we're gonna talk to the boss. Ah, you wanted to see me? Yes, I did. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. Ooh. Now be silent and hear what I have to say. Our great enemy is the sun. No shit. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court Unfortunately to for you, I can't I have read. A new task for us all to carry out. Elder Scrolls that includes you. Come now and hear my proclamation. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim to lure a moth priest here. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth 
and search the land for rumors of a moth priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Speak to innkeepers, carriage drivers, anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now and carry out this task. This is my command. Okay, so now we gotta find this moth priest, and now Serana will follow us. Skyrim's a pretty big place. Where do they usually go? Have any ideas? You know, the College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The College of Winterhold, eh? That people probably shouldn't know about. What's that? Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. Okay, Serana, you can come with me. So, really, we're just coming over here to Dragon Bridge. Don't worry about going anywhere else, because I know where to go, lucky me. So, we're just gonna cross this bridge right here. Go for a little bit of a stroll. Come on, Serana, run fast behind my horse. Okay, and there'll be some broken carriage here. Right here. And there are blood splatters to follow. So just come on across this other bridge. Head to the left. My horse is fatigued. Come on, run faster! Give him a spank, Sithis. Go run into the wall. Okay, right here. This holdout. And now make your way inside. It's gonna be a little dungeon here. The castle in it. Well, I guess it's not exactly a castle, but you know what I mean. And we are just going to slay them all. You're all mine. The Dawn Guard beat us here. But they will not beat us. Come on. You're all weak and pathetic. You can't even hurt me. Wish I Spartan kicked them after that little stab. The only sad part about all of this is killing the dogs. Alright, we're gonna take this little focus stone, plug it in up here. They're gonna work for me, priest. You will be mine! One good swipe. And then a little bit of mind controlling. You're kinder of Talk to him. Temriel, monster. I'm gonna feed on you, actually. You taste like an old sweaty man. By the divines. It's as if my eyes have been opened. I am blinded by the light of your majesty. Good. I... I must obey you. Yes, you must. What would you have of me, master? I want you to Certainly. bend over and sweep the floor. Castle? I will set out at once, then. Okay, bring him back to the boss. What, what harken, harken, I found him. Well done. Here's the moth priest. Yes, I see that. I trust his capture was not too difficult to task. No, it was easy, actually. I wish I could have been there to hear the sounds of their screams. Well, that's pretty your fucked up, man. Waits and we have given him Just the kidding, I love their scroll. screams too. Command him to read it and let us hear the words of prophecy together. Okay. Hey you. Read this scroll. Master, I have done as you asked and traveled here. I have another task. Of course. What is it that you need me to do? I need you to read ah, this. Yes, the Elder Scroll. I admit, I am looking forward to this. 
Then you may begin. Of course, Master. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. Okay, so we need two more Elder Scrolls. Politics. Harkin. That's what. Harkin. My traitor wife stole one of them away and then disappeared. As for the other, the last that I heard, it was lost in the bowels of a Dwemer ruin. It seems our work is not yet done. But I have waited this long and we are so very close now. Yes, we are, my lord. A little longer. Okay. No, we just gotta talk to Serana. Hey, where's your bitch mom, bitch? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Why don't you say something? I didn't want that lot getting wind of it. Especially my father. We're on the same team here. Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... His plaything. Means to an end. Oh, means to an end. Gotcha. To that that my was my next guess. America. She'll definitely know where it is, and if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. Mm-hmm. Last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe, somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. Maybe still in the castle. Best guess. So we're coming outside, running around. There's this uh, dock area underneath the castle. Couple guys, nothing crazy. I think there's a were bear here, if I'm not mistaken. All right, come underneath. Kick dogs in the face. Oh hell yeah. Fandal, where the hell did you come from? I'm gonna kill him before this is done. Perfect. Work with me. Alright, where are we going here? Get a little spun around. No mash for Sithis. Boom. Okay. Up and up and up and up we go. Here we are, the courtyard. Okay. We gotta grab a couple little pieces here. For the dial. One's right here. Serana, are you helping me look or are you just talking? Talk and work, bitch. Talk and work. Okay. One up here. Let's walk over. 
Now we just gotta place them in the right slots. There we go. Finish them. Okay. Moving along. Let's go. Pathetic. Pesky skeletons. Man, I always forget how long this hallway really is. Elemental Fury doesn't do much to skeletons on Legendary. Luckily, my swords are strong. Ah! No, what does that even open? Something up here, maybe? I don't know. Hopefully. Stairs, stairs, and more stairs. That leads you to some stairs. Okay, here we go. The final office. I'm gonna pull this thing right here. And come up the stairs. My legs are sore. Okay, now that we're in here, we just need the ingredients. Well, you need the journal and the ingredients. Right here. Okay. Now, one thing is right here. One is right here. And then just up here. Probably should have used a torch. It's a little dark. Okay, Serana. Then the rest is up to me. Yep. Are you ready to go? Need you to bleed for me. I'm not entirely me. sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Well, it ain't gonna blow up in your face, okay, so don't worry about it. Goes. Don't worry about it, you know? By the blood of my ancestors. She actually did it. Created a portal of the soul cave. Incredible. Wow. Ah! Here we are in the most colorless, dead place in all of Elder Scrolls. 
They should have just made it black and white. Okay, so now we're just gonna fly around, whip around quick in our vampire form. Come straight up to the main castle. Luckily I have so much stamina I could fly forever. Okay, now we're gonna talk to our mother-in-law. Hey, bitch. Serana? Mother? Ten Mother. hours later. Okay. It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to complete the prophecy our way, not his. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire of mixed blood is in the company of my daughter? Because she loves me and we're dating. Safe? You call bringing her here safe? Has she explained nothing to you? Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. She didn't explain anything to me. What about the Elder Scroll? You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volkahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. How does Serana like fit into this? Serana was a human one. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Tyranny of the now Sun requires Serana's blood? I wanted to protect Serana. And why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I'll never let that happen. And how exactly do you plan on completing the prophecy without the death of my daughter? I'm gonna kill Harkon. If you believe that then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. I'm not a fool. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? In Serana's opinion? You nothing for Serana, or our plight. You see the tyranny of the sun as your chance at deification. And like Harkon, you won't hesitate to destroy anything that stands in your path. Serana believes Serana? in me. This stranger may call himself a vampire. But he knows nothing of our struggle. Nothing of your struggle? I'm a black, dark elf vampire also, lady. Come on. Than you've done in centuries. Yeah. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's That's my father-in-law. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? Yeah. If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, I'm still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. No, nope. not deserve if your mom keeps acting things. like a bitch. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, 
We need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Saran. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Yes, you have. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake... What's unclear? I want to bed your daughter. Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. How do I do that? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Okay, get to the, the point. Destroy the keepers that are tending them. Destroy the keepers, okay. Now we gotta go to the, all three of these spires. On a long flight. Okay. Well, here's the first one. Let's go. Can he survive more than one hit? I didn't think so. Pussy ass keepers. Grand soul gem. Your free axe if you'd like. But I don't care. On to the next one. Okay, and we're going to go to this one on the right here. And here we are. Got to float up on this guy. Or beam up, I should say. Here we go. And here we are. No match for me, Miss Man. Try not to fall off the edge. What's up, buddy? You know, I really do no damage on Legendary as my vampire form, which is why I don't really play as it much. Like, my human form is ten times more powerful than my vampire form. So that's two out of three. Got an arrow in the top of my head. And now we are going to the third and final keeper. Okay, here we are. Come on! Better revert. Yeah. Serana? Hurry up. Okay, back to Mama. Now that all the keepers are dead. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Yes. Very impressive. It was easy. Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. Okay. Dernevere, you're a queer. And what do we have here? <clears throat> Another pussy. Who's there? Come on. Let's go, Dernavir. Think you can hide up there on your little pedestal? Not against elemental fury. Ah! Damn it, I didn't get the last hit! Oh well. Good job, Serana.
Okay, and here we got the Elder Scroll. Blood. I'm glad you're here. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. Yes, I will. You're staying? And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. Oh, I will. She's the only thing of value I have left. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. Okay. I've had enough of the soul, Karen. Now we're gonna fly back. Okay. Stay your weapons. No Dernavir appears. I would speak with you, Quanarin. What do you want? I thought you were dead. First, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. Why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. And I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. First time for I everything. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. What do you want? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the ideal masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I stopping fear you. that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. How can I help? I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thum. Trivial Just call in your, your name. mind, perhaps. Sounds good. For me, it would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. Okay, sure. Sounds good. Come on, let's go. Now let's get out of here, Serana. Back to the portal. Oh! Now I can breathe again. Okay. Yes. Where's the other Elder Dexian Scroll? said something about that scroll. What was it? Something to do with dragons, I think. Maybe we should try asking at the College of Winterhold. Sounds like something they'd know about. Well, we don't need to go to the college because luckily for all of us, I know exactly where it is. Come to the balcony. Just so we can fast travel the short way. And now we're coming over here to Septimus Cygnus's outpost behind the College of Winterhold. Alright, best part about flying as a vampire, you can just fly over the water. Revert my form so I don't make him shit his pants when I walk right in. What's up, Septimus? The top ah, the ice entombs the heart. Shut up. Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. 
Yeah, yeah, Time yeah. Time is arc and it's Sky Dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the law upon the cube. Okay, so he's going to give us this little key that we need to get down inside of Blackreach to get to the Elder Scroll. Dig Dwemer into the okay, so we're coming over here to Alftand to transcribe the lexicon. Alright. Here we go. Let's see how powerful I really am. Ah! Can I make it all the way down? Nope. Not quite. Not quite that strong. We'll just have to do it in little increments. Oh yeah. I don't take the stairs. Perfect. Oh -ho! You snow elf pigs. Oh yeah. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Now, you all work for me. Now let's go. Some people hate Dwarven Ruins. I love Dwarven Ruins, man. They're one of my favorite dungeons. Get him, boys. Now stand up. Match for Sithis. Okay, now here we go. This is what that little key is for. Hasn't there been enough death? Forgot about these guys. Of course, you want me to leave. Let me just put an end to you quick. He kept talking through a sword in his chest. Thanks for the help, Serana. Grab this unique shield. Targe of the Blooded. Pick them all up and proceed downstairs. Who's there? Okay, here we are, Black Reach, one of the most beautiful parts of the game. We're here to find our Elder Scroll. Come on, gang. Luckily, we can conjure our horse, so we don't have to walk everywhere. Even though the horse may run away from you. Okay, here we go. We're on the road again. On the road again. Beautiful. Giant glowing mushrooms. Luckily for me, I can just avoid all this bullshit. Okay. 
Sometimes I think to myself, should I fast forward this part or should I just soak it all in? And I think in this situation, I am very happy to watch my little horse ride. Coming up here to the elevator now. We're taking four times as long walking here. Sprinting here, I should say. So then you just come in here and get the Elder Scroll. Simple as that. And this is that second thing that he gave us. We just put it right in this thing on the right. Okay. You can actually avoid the first button entirely. It does nothing. And just keep on clicking. So I'm to get the fuck out of the way, you stupid bitch. Okay. We did it! We solved the puzzle! Look at that. Noise. Okay. Now we just gotta go back to the Moth Priest. Yes, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with the scrolls any longer, my lord. I'm afraid in my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the time I needed to prepare. Perhaps I could offer an alternative way to read the scrolls. Gathered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade, an implement known as a draw knife. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Okay, so now we just gotta go get this little uh, Ancestor Glade shit so that we can read the scroll ourselves. Find the Moth Priest's knife. And here we are. Grab the floating knife. Okay, give her a little shavy shavy. That's the weirdest sound effect for that. It sounds like two stones grinding against each other. Serana, shut up! I'm talking! Okay, run around, grab a bunch of the moths. And then you read all of the scrolls. Wow. Okay, and now we know how to get to the Forgotten Veil. What is it? That's... Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. What about Ariel's bow? I doubt that's you know Rona. I'm a dark find? elf. That's not funny. And it's almost over. We can finally rewrite the prophecy as we see fit. Where is this Darkfall cave? 
Uh, then let's get going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Somewhere in the north. You stupid bitch. Oh, what do we have here? Ha ha ha! Holy shit, Serana, that was a good one. Jesus Christ. That's it. That's it. His head, his head is talking after I cut it off. You are all weaker than children in a school, but that's being shot up. Ah! Maybe that was a bad joke. Maybe that was insensitive. Oh well. Darkfall Cave. Okay. Oh, look at this fancy bridge. Stay on your guard. It's supposed to break. Oh, there it is. Ah! This is just like being back at Fun Mountain. Who's there? So much going on. Spiders falling. There we go. What do we have here? You have nothing to fear here. I am Knight Paladin Gelibor. Welcome to the Great Chantry of Oriel. This cave Oriel, is a temple? Oriel, Alkosh, Akatosh. So many different names for the Sovereign of the Snow Elves. I need you to kill Archcurate Vertha, my brother. Archcurate Vertha. The kinship between us is gone. I don't understand what he's become, but he's no longer the brother I once knew. He's alive. I've seen him, but something's wrong. Leaving the Way Shrines unguarded would be violating my sacred duty as a Knight Paladin of Oriel. And an assault on the betrayed guarding the inner sanctum would only end with my death. Yes, let me show you. The Way Shrine? Oh my god. Is your skeletons creaking in the background? This structure is known as a You're wish. a white elf, I'm a dark elf. They were used for meditation and for transport when the Chantry was a place of enlightenment. Once the initiate completed his mantras, he'd dip a ceremonial ewer in the basin at the Way Shrine's center and proceed to the next Way Shrine. You'll need the initiate's ewer. Once you've located a Way Shrine, there'll be a spectral prelate tending to it. They will allow you to draw the waters from the shrine's basin as if you've been enlightened. I'll be off then. This may be the last time we're able to converse. If you have any questions before you leave, I suggest you ask them. Otherwise, all I can do now is grant you my hopes for a safe journey. I've spoken with you enough. Time to go. As unpleasant as I thought it would. Okay. So, here we are. Ran all the way through this cave. You didn't need to see the boring shit. Welcome, Initiate. And, uh, then behold Ariel's gift, my child. May it light your path as you seek the first out of five here. Just gotta fill the ewer, step through the portal, and bingo, bango, bongo. On to the next one. Okay, one out of five. And now we have finally emerged from the caves into this new land. Way nicer than the Soul Cairn. So basically, just keep on running straight, and there is uh, one of the five collectible books here. The Unknown Book, Volume 1. And I'm not going to be showing all of them because I already did that in my Dawn Guard completion guide. So if you don't want to miss anything from this whole uh, DLC, then watch that video. Here's a new giant. Ah! 
one hit kill what's new and these guys got the paragons my pet spider Okay, here we go. We got another one of these fucking things. You've arrived. Then go forth, child. Could you imagine how boring it would be being a ghost watching over a fucking little concrete building? That'd be hell. I'd rather be trapped in fucking oblivion. With the Daedra. Okay, and over here, there is a word of power. Oh my god! They were just chilling trapped under the ice for all these years. Skyrim logic, Todd. Okay. Now that that's learned... We're gonna defeat the dragons! Come on! Oh yeah, one hit kill. I should've just used my fists. Come on! Come on. Hell yeah, stay right there. Jesus Christ. Well, that's Skyrim. Next. You've reached the Way Shrine of Learning, Initiate. Okay, three out of five. Well, I actually finished. missed one then near the beginning, so I had to run all the way back. Child. Good one. Okay, and that only leaves one left. I'm gonna go through, which one is it? This one. And then make our way through the ice caves. Oh yeah. Good miss. Come on! It's times like this, I'm grateful I can sprint forever. hit right there I wish that the stronger you were the more force you could send use to send people flying that would be awesome well what do we have here even a splash it's faded away well what can you do I guess ah
Okay, and the Temple of Ariel is just above us up there. So, making our way downtown. It's funny that the the Falmer have archers and mages because they're all fucking blind. So they have really good hearing, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Okay, and here is another one of those books on the table. Hit me! Rocks didn't even make my health register any damage. Okay, right here, five out of five. We made you it. Found the Way Shrine of Radiance Initiate. Mm-hmm. Are you prepared to honor the mantras of Ariel? May the blessings of Ariel protect you as you climb the road to the inner sanctum and final enlightenment. This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Okay. Boom. Five out of five. Now, we just have to make our way to the temple. Which is directly straight ahead. It's too bad there's not like more snow elf ruins spread around Skyrim because it's one of the more beautiful architectures in the game I think. Certainly looks better than Dwemer garbage. Okay. I'll fill that up. Looks like this little star in front of me would hold like probably two five gallon little fucking water jugs and my little uh, ewer filled it all up on its own. Funny how that works. Let's get indoors. Okay. Now there is um, a place you can put your ewer right here. Just so that we can get the final snow giant. Obviously I didn't show me getting all of them. Like I said, it's in the Dawn Guard video, so I just don't care. But this one was literally right here, so. Where'd you come from? Come on! <laughs> I want you to survive more than one hit. And we got the Ruby Paragon here. I think that this is the one for Ariel's shield, if I'm not mistaken. So you can use that. Go through the portal. Get Ariel's shield, which is one of the best shields in the game.
Okay, now we're in the chapel. What's up, bitch? You've been sitting here for a long time, I hear. Did you really come here expecting to claim Ariel's bow? You've done exactly as I predicted and brought your fetching companion to me. Wait, is he talking about me? Which, I'm sorry to say, means your usefulness is at an end. Oh no. Ah! Let's go. Serana, are you even trying? They're running right for me. An impressive display, but a waste of effort. You delay nothing but your own deaths. Watch out! He's falling down the ceiling! This. That's what I want to know. I want to be able to do this shit. Are you all right? Come on, we can do this. I know we can. Come on, Serana. He's up there on the balcony. Come on. You and me, baby. Enough, Bertha. Give us the bow. You tell him, Serana. you. I was the arch curate of Ariel, girl. I had the ears of a god. Until the betrayed corrupted you. Yes, yes, we've heard this sad story. Gelibor and his kind are easily manipulated fools. Look into my eyes, Serana. You tell me what I am. You... You're a vampire? But Ariel should have protected you. The moment I was infected by one of my own initiates, Ariel turned his back on me. I swore I'd have my revenge, no matter what the cost. You want to take revenge on a god? Ariel himself may have been beyond my reach, but his influence on our world wasn't. All I needed was the blood of a vampire and his own weapon, Ariel's bow. The blood of a vampire, Ariel's bow. It was you? You created that prophecy? A prophecy that lacked a single final ingredient. The blood of a pure vampire. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor. You were waiting all this time for someone with my Get him, blood to come Choke him. Slap it's his too face. Bad for you. I intend on keeping it. Let's see if your blood has any power to it. But what Where'd you come from? This? Okay, here we go. Yeah! One hit kill. Well, you know me. That's not good enough for me. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. Fuckhead. Yeah! Oh, hell yeah. Let's go. Come on. Okay, one more time. For good luck. Yeah. Perfect. 
Okay, I've had enough killing you. Six times will do. What's up, buddy? So the deed has been done. Yep. The restoration of this way shrine means that Vertha must be dead. Yeah. Betrayed no longer have control over him. He controlled the betrayed. What? what are you talking about? He was a vampire. A vampire. I see. Uh, that would explain much. Deep inside, it brings me joy that the betrayed weren't to blame for what happened here. Why? Because that means there's still hope that they might one day shed their hatred and learn to believe in Oriel once again. Doubt it. It's been a long time since I felt that way, and it's been long overdue. My thanks to both of you. You're welcome. You risked everything to get Oriel's bow, and in turn, you restored the Chantry. I can't think of a more deserving champion to carry it than you. If you wish to learn more about the bow, or obtain sun-hallowed arrows for it, I'd be more than happy to help. You've but to ask. Okay, and here we have the most beautiful bow in the game. Ariel's bow. Got some elven arrows, completed touching the sky. It's not what do we do now, as I was Serana? expecting. Still, it's beautiful. What do well, we do? Before we spoke to my mother in the Soul Cairn, I would have said we'd bring the bow to my father. But after everything with her, I don't think we can trust him. No kidding. Then we kill him. I keep thinking that there's got to be another way, but he'll turn on us both the moment he gets the chance. No, he has to die. We have no choice. Agreed. Let's get him. Thank you. Somehow I knew you'd understand. Of course, sweetheart. I'd do anything for you, baby. Okay, guys. Now there's only one thing left to do before we go fight Harkon. Hakon, la la la. And that <laughs> is to enhance our bow with our fortify smithing. Alright. Drink my little Fortify Smithing Potion. Goes from 41 to 531. You don't see many people crafting with that these days. Impressive. Alright, you can buy the Elven Arrows to make the Blood Arrows. Or you can make the Sun Arrows. That Snow Elf will make you the that Sun Arrows. Like and Serana will make you the Blood that's Arrows. That's the last bit of the prophecy. The blood of a daughter of Cold Harbor can corrupt the bow. Yep. Sure... Stick Do these you in your arm. Arrows, though? They would have to be of elven quality, I guess. Yes, stick this in your arm. Let's just get this over with. Let's just get this over with. Okay. Now these are the sun hollowed arrows. And when you shoot them at the sky at the sun, if you didn't already know, it will shoot. Oh, that didn't work. It will shoot out uh, beams of light that kill indiscriminately, so keep that in mind. But I'm a god of darkness, I don't use that version. And then these are the blood arrows. If you use these, you can uh, be a vampire in the day with no ill effects. But, I mean, with the armor that I made, there are no ill effects to being a vampire, so. Thing that sucks about shooting these ones at the sun is traitors and people in towns get killed by vampires and gargoyles and shit. So. Yep. Okay. Let's go see Daddy. So, you've returned. Is your pet keeping you entertained? You know why we're here. Of course I do. You disappoint me, Serana. 
You've taken everything I provided for you and thrown it all away for this. It's too bad their mouths Fet don't move. It literally looks kind of funny. That's laziness, her? Bethesda. You've destroyed our family. You've killed other vampires all over some prophecy that we barely understand. No more. I'm done with you. You will not touch him. So, I see this dragon has fangs. Your voice drips with the venom of your mother's influence. How alike you've become. No. Because unlike her, I'm not afraid of you. Not anymore. And you. It appears I have you to thank for turning my daughter against me. I knew it was only a matter of time before your ambition outgrew your loyalty. Loyalty? You never intended to let me live? A small price to pay for the betterment of our kind. You're an insult to our kind, you fuckhead. Oh, come now. Spare me your notions of kinship. You've simply used Serana in an attempt to take away what should rightfully be mine. I would never use Serana like that. The vampire is eternal. And with immortality comes the revelation that these bonds never endure. It's fleeting, momentary at best. Enough of this. Yes, quite. I'm growing weary of speaking to you and my traitorous daughter. I'll give you a single chance to turn over the bow to me. There will not be a second. You can suck my fucking dick. Very well then, you leave me no choice. Okay, let's go. Let's see how quickly I can beat you. Come on. Let's go, everyone. Is that it? Did I get him already? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's it. Serana, your own father. Not good enough. Round two. Come on! I'm gonna beat you with my fists. One hit. One punch on Legendary. No. Serana. Your own father. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh! Two hits. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Toronto, what are you doing? Quit fucking around. Come on, hack on, you little puss. Harkin, hack on, fuck. I always mix those up. Fool. Done? Come on. Jesus Christ, if you didn't spend so much time fucking running. Your own father. Shut up. Well, I guess I've had enough. Okay, now we got his sword. And, uh, yeah. He's dead, well, Serana. Now that's done. Nice fall. What will you do now? Not sure. I'll probably stay here for as long as they'll let me. I think we can rebuild here. Make my family's legacy something more respectable. Of course, if you've got any more adventures planned... I'd love to have you along, baby. That's what I wanted to hear. Okay. Well. I think you'll need to find some arrows first. Only Elven Lord ones Harkon will work for this, defeated. remember? 
I never imagined I'd see the day. Lucky my you. Lady, you have my deepest sympathies. I am sure this was not easy for you. He was out of control, Garen. It had to be done. Garen. I'm not happy about this. My step grandmother's name is Garen, actually. He was still my father. Isn't that a woman's name? I suppose my father really died a long time ago. This was just the end of something else. Of course, my dear. All will be well now. My congratulations on defeating Harkon. Clearly, you are the superior vampire. Oh, you yes. You are the new master. We bow to your power. A power which, I note, includes Oriel's bow. The castle, of course, is yours. We shall follow you and help spread your influence across Skyrim. Okay, guys. So you gotta do two random miscellaneous quests. I think they're misc anyways. Protecting the bloodline and deceiving the herd. And then you can talk to Garen about finishing the Dawn Guard. The Dawn Guard will no doubt soon become even more of a nuisance now that Oriel's bow has been recovered. We need to strike a crippling blow against them before they muster more men against us. Understood. Good. They've holed up in an abandoned fort in the Reach. Killing their leaders should discourage them from an out-and-out -out war with us. Okay. Here we go. Time to finish it, boys. Remember me? Oh! Oh, hell yeah. Direct hit. Come on! Gorm. You're a tough cookie. Come on! Ha ha ha! Vandal, get out of the way! Oh my god, you're dying for that one, Vandal. I'm gonna leave you dead this time. Fuckhead. Come here! Remember me, Isran? Come here! You're the next on my shit list. Santa's come to town. Ah! I'm sorry, dog. I didn't want to kill you. I really didn't. Who's left? Who's hiding? We got a pussy hiding in the fucking dog kennel. Nope, no mercy here, bitch. No more. Yeah! I yield. I yield. And just like that, the Dawn Guard is ended. Well, guys, I hope that you liked my first Skyrim Let's Play. Comment down below what you want me to play next for the guilds or whatever, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, I'll catch you in the next one. Pup, 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 peace.